Let me make this an absolute fact. The goal is world peace. That must be our prime responsibility. We are the leader of the free world whether we want to be or not. And therefore we are the only ones that can preserve the peace. And to do that we must have strength. Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. Because you have the Afghan troops have 300,000 well-equipped, as well-equipped as any army in the world, and an Air Force, against something like 75,000 Taliban. It is not inevitable. Mr. President, thank you very much. Your own intelligence community has assessed that the Afghan government will likely collapse. That is not true. The Afghan government and leadership has to come together. They clearly have the capacity to sustain the government in place. And do you see any parallels between this withdrawal and what happened in Vietnam with some people feeling... None whatsoever. Zero. The Taliban is not the South, the North Vietnamese Army. They're not, they're not remotely comparable in terms of capability. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of a embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. It is not at all comparable. So the question now is, where do they go from here? That, the jury is still out. But the likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. Taliban fighters were seen rolling up the Afghan flag inside the presidential palace. Crowds of Kabul residents warmly embracing the Taliban as they arrived. Taliban fighters inside the presidential palace. Afghans, afraid of the return to Taliban rule, swarm the streets of the capital, some desperate to get on flights out of the country. Other Afghans who fled to Kabul from the countryside to escape the Taliban say now they have nowhere else to go.